What is up? This is your LA in a Minute. Today I'd like to talk about the secret and scandalous history of the Chateau Marmont. Conceived in 1926 and built in 1929, Vanity Fair said it's possible that no hotel in America inspires so much nostalgia, speculation, and sheer devotion. But let's go into the details as to why. When developer Fred Horowitz saw the little hill off of Marmont Lane in 1926, he had the vision to build a castle reminiscent of the ones he saw in Paris when he was traveling. He wanted to call it Chateau Sunset and Chateau Hollywood initially, but he settled on Chateau Marmont after that cute little lane right behind the current and existing hotel. Distinctively furnished and decorated, it opened its big wooden doors for business on February 1st, 1929, and from that point forward, the scandal would flow like a waterfall. The head of Columbia Pictures, Harry Cohn, would tell his youngest stars, if you must get into trouble, do it at the Chateau Marmont due to their discreet nature of handling indiscretions. In 1955, James Dean jumped through a window to audition for Rebel Without a Cause. It's because director Nicholas Ray lived in a bungalow at a time where he was having an affair with the underaged Natalie Wood. Jim Morrison of the Doors was one of their most famous residents in the late 60s, and he fell off either a roof, a balcony, or a terrace, depending on who was telling the story during one of his wild nights. The chateaus where journalist Dominic Dunn and music executive Earl McGrath found young carpenter Harrison Ford, who was initially hired to board up one of their two bedrooms in hopes of convincing the hotel to cut their rent in half. Chateau Marmont was the residence of Sharon Tate and director Roman Polanski until Tate found out she was pregnant. She ended up being murdered during the Manson murders six months after she moved out. In what was considered scandalous at the time, the Chateau was one of the only places in Hollywood that welcomed Sidney Poitier at a time when many places were still segregated in the early 1950s. The Chateau is where the members of Led Zeppelin apparently rode motorcycles through the lobby after partying hard one night in the late 1960s. In perhaps its most infamous moment, the Chateau was also where actor John Belushi was found dead of a speedball overdose in 1982 at the age of 33 after partying with Robert De Niro and Robin Williams the night prior. In 2004, famed photographer Helmut Newton crashed his car and died after having a heart attack right after picking the car up from valet. Around that time, they say the hotel went from having a private hotel to a hotel assailed by paparazzi to a hotel where celebrities themselves are their own paparazzi. For example, in 2012, Lindsay Lohan was sent packing from room 33 after racking up $46,000 in unpaid charges. Though the hotel is now members only, Julia Roberts, George Clooney, and Bono are loyalists, and they say the aura is the most authentic in Hollywood. All right, L.A., it's been a minute.